Hello and welcome to the Jetline Marvel. In this video, we'll look at some little-known facts about the Boeing Globemaster C-17 cargo plane. Let's get started. The U.S. Air Force started seeking for a replacement for its Lockheed C-130 Hercules tactical transport plane in the 1970s. The YC-14 is proposed by Boeing, while the YC-15 is proposed by McDonnell Douglas. Finally, McDonnell Douglas was selected to construct the suggested aircraft, which was given the designation C-17. In 1979, the Defense Department initiated the Cargo Experimental CX program. The corporation made advantage of NASA-derived technologies that had been available to industry over the previous four decades. In 1991, the first C-17 rolled off the production line. A propulsive lift mechanism enables the C-17 to land safely on short runways. It can land a full payload in less than 3,000 feet. The engine exhaust is used to generate lift in the propulsive lift system. The C-17 has an externally blown flap system, which allows for a steep, low-speed final approach and low landing speeds for typical short-field landings. In the mid-1950s by a team of researchers at NASA Langley Research Center. The externally blown flap, or powered lift mechanism, allows the plane to make slow, steep approaches while carrying heavy cargo. The steep approach aids pilots in making precise landings with the aircraft, allowing them to touch down precisely in the appropriate area on limited runway surfaces. The C-17 Globemaster III is a strategic transport plane that can fly cargo close to a war zone. Because of rising air mobility needs, particularly for large or heavy non-palletized outsized goods, the size and weight of U.S. mechanized artillery and equipment have expanded in recent decades. It has a length of 174 feet and a wingspan of 169 feet 10 inches and employs around 8% composite materials. The C-17, like other military transports, has a supercritical wing. These are sophisticated airfoil designs that increase jet aircraft range, cruising speed, and fuel efficiency by producing weaker shock waves that cause less drag and allow for great efficiency. In the 1960s, NASA Langley Wind Tunnel research resulted in the development of this significant new technology. NASA Langley created the winglet concept through wind tunnel studies in the mid-1970s. Winglets are tiny, wing-like vertical structures located at each wingtip of an aircraft that allow it to fly more efficiently. They curve the flow at the wingtip to provide forward force on the airplane, much like a sail on a sailboat. The winglet concept was originally proven in flight on a Business Gates Model 28 Longhorn Series Learjet before being tested on a big DC-10 aircraft as part of NASA's Aircraft Energy Efficiency Program. The C-17 requires a three-person crew for cargo operations, a pilot, a co-pilot, and a loadmaster. The cargo compartment measures 88 feet long, 18 feet wide, and 12 feet 4 inches high. The cargo floor is equipped with rollers for palletized cargo, but may be reversed to give a flat surface appropriate for automobiles and other rolling stock. It can operate from runways as short as 1,100 meters and as narrow as 27 meter. Furthermore, it can fly from unpaved, unimproved runways. Thrust reversers can be used to propel the aircraft backwards and reverse direction on narrow taxiways by performing a three-point turn. 
The plane is designed to need 20 man-hours of maintenance per flight hour and has a mission availability rate of 74%. The C-17 has a maximum payload of 77,500 kg and a maximum takeoff weight of 265,000 kg. The C-17 has an unrefueled range of about 4,400 km on the first 71 aircraft and 5,200 km on all subsequent extended range models that include a sealed center wing bay as a fuel tank with a payload of 73,000 kg and an initial cruise altitude of 28,000 feet. The cruise speed is around 830 km per hour. The C-17 have set 33 world records during normal testing, including payload to altitude time to climb, and the short takeoff and landing mark, in which the C-17 took off in less than 427 meters, carried a payload of 20,000 kilograms to altitude, and landed in less than 427 meters. In 1998, completed the longest airdrop mission in history flying more than 14,816 kilometers from the United States to Central Asia. On August 15, 2021 with 823 passengers, the C-17 evacuation flight from Kabul set a new record for the most of passengers transported on a Globemaster 3 flight. The trip broke the previous C-17 record, which was achieved in November 2012, when 670 people of Tacloban, Philippines, boarded an evacuation flight to Manila in the aftermath of Super Typhoon Haiyan. It normally carries a maximum of 300 passengers with seats. When pallets with seats are used to accommodate large passenger loads, Please share your thoughts on the C-17 Globemaster. If you know of any more fascinating information, please post them in the comments below. If you enjoy this video, please share it and don't forget to give it a thumbs up.